I've just seen the second episode of the new series of Black Mirror, and it's pretty scary stuff. And Charlie Brooker's very modern satire on our modern age, our communications obsessed age, has always been pretty dark, but um, this is the first time, I think, that it's looked like tipping into sort of outright horror, almost John Carpenter-esque horror. A young girl at the very beginning, a young woman, wakes up in a strange bedroom, in a strange house, not with a pounding headache, not knowing how on earth she got there. Which I suppose you could say about sort of most students probably on most days, but um, in her case, it's not lectures she faces, but a world in which the entire population seems to have been turned into zombies, incapable of doing anything apart from filming everything and everyone on their mobile phones. Another woman turns up and looks like offering help. Apparently the whole thing has been caused by a signal that's transmitted from the so-called White Bear transmission station, broadcast station. Can they find the station and uh, blow it up and save the day? There's a massive twist halfway through that I really can't say anything more about, but I promise you, you won't see it coming. And although I think the um, episode as a whole is not quite as satisfying as last week's, as the first episode of the new series, it's still pretty good stuff. And, and I think, you know, Charlie Brooker, I have to say, is pretty much on form, I think. One final thing is that the girl who apparently comes to the rescue is played by an actress called Tuppence Middleton from Bristol. It's a very beautiful name, she's a very beautiful woman, and I think also she is a very, she's clearly very talented, she's incredibly natu naturalistic. I have a hunch that we are going to be seeing her name and her face in many more things and many much bigger probably um, film projects as well. Give it a look, it's exciting. So, what do you think of the new series of Black Mirror, and specifically last week's first episode? You can comment below, and also, for more of these first look reviews, you can subscribe to our channel.